Hi, uh, good afternoon. My name is Dr. Jada Sai, a holistic optometrist Route 22 in Meltdown Road in Brewster. What I'm going to talk to you is about some natural approaches to reduce the risk of macular degeneration. Macular degeneration is a disease when there's damage to the uh, telecate tissue or retina and if it gets bad, unfortunately you cannot see my ugly face or it could be a good thing. <laughs> And the two risk factors are elevated C-reactive protein and hyperhomocysteine. So I got Dr. <laughs> Michael Gazy, uh, he's a naturopath physician in Danbury, and I'd like for him to discuss about hyperhomocysteine and elevated C-reactive protein. Hi, Jay. Well, thank you for having me on today. Um, it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, as you know, my specialty is in nutritional medicine, and. Um, I, I find that um, many times we run blood tests on patients and we find that they have high homocysteine or C-reactive protein. And these are tests that we commonly run on patients because they're good tests to look not just for the macular degeneration problems but also for heart disease um, because they are risk factors for those as well. And uh, they're simple blood tests. They're, uh, they can be run by any physician. Um, and they're, they're just excellent um, indicators so we, could, we use them as, again, a source not just for the macular degeneration but also for heart disease. Um, anyway, uh, we've had some great success lowering these numbers. Um, homocysteine is a waste product that our body produces and if that waste product builds up in the body it actually damages the arteries. Uh, C-reactive protein is a measure of inflammation in the body and if there's that inflammation in the body that inflammation damages the arteries. So both these tests tell us how things are going on in the body. Excellent and uh, in fact recently an article has suggested lowering your hyperhomocysteine levels can reduce the risk for macular degeneration by 30 percent in females. Michael? Wow, that's amazing. Please uh, let me let your patients know uh, which uh, supplements to use to uh, reduce homocysteines and uh, C-reactor protein? Certainly. Well, there's a number of different supplements that have been shown to be helpful. Uh, vitamin B6, vitamin B12, and folic acid, but uh, as far as lowering homocysteine. Uh, however, uh, more than that, uh, getting the liver to work properly, taking liver herbals uh, and taking extra magnesium and making sure the bowels move by using fiber are very helpful in lowering homocysteine because it's a waste product the body produces, so we have to help the body detoxify or eliminate its waste. C-reactive protein is a whole different issue. Because it's an inflammatory marker, we have to lower inflammation in the body. So we use uh, antioxidants and anti-inflammatory products. Um, in fact, we have a product called anti inflam that we use for that very purpose, and we've had some great success lowering uh, uh, C-reactive protein with that. Uh, basically, it contains anti-inflammatory herbals. Excellent. And uh, have you found out from experience that exercise can lower a C-reactive protein too? A absolutely. Exercise it will help uh, all overall health, of course, and also help lower inflammation in the body, as well as lowering C-reactive protein and homocysteine. Okay, so it's important. So if anybody is concerned about getting macular degeneration, has any family history, because family history may be a possible risk factor. Please see Dr. Gacy. Please uh, let us know where your office is. Certainly. My office is in Danbury, Connecticut. Uh, the phone number there is 797-8412, area code 203. And you can also look me up on the internet at www.drgacy.com. Excellent. And if you have any specific questions you want to ask me, I have a Facebook under JS Desai. So add me as a friend, I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. Thanks, Michael. Thanks, Jay.